In this video, I take the new Hammerhead Caru 2 for a ride with my friend Luis. We have a coffee with it. One of the old cakes. And we make sure it is beagle proof. Spoiler alert, it is beagle proof. And then we take it to Richmond Park. And we do some other stuff. So I guess we better get on with it. So the good news is, the first time I took this for a ride, uh, after charging it from the box, it had gone down from 100% to 98%, but charged it again after using it lightly for a ride uh, around with the family. And it's uh, after three or four days, it was still at 100%, which is good. And I could start it and do everything with my heavy winter gloves that were once um, touchscreen friendly but don't seem to be that touchscreen friendly anymore but seem to work very quickly and easily with this screen. So I'm on the 3T Explorer Race Max with its gold cassette, gold chain and some other gold things like the wolf tooth gold, whatever they call it, bling. And uh, yeah, it looks it looks quite good and obviously these are little touches that attract attention and make a bike yours. As we head now towards Flag Bikes, quick shout out to them. They've helped me out on all sorts of bikes and yeah, go support your local bike shop. So while we did have some business stuff to discuss with Enrique, we rode apart because of the COVID rules. But what we did, we got over quickly here and I took advantage of the fact that there was a beagle in the picture. And do some important consumer advice where we check to see if the hammerhead carrow is beagle proof and it is. We also did the being scared of white van drivers tests and it's not scared of white vans. So, here we are, 88% and ride time, stop it. 30 kilometers, 121. Let's see if we have the same here. Yeah, slightly under. So the best news, as far as I'm concerned, is that it seems to be recording a similar distance to my Garmin and everyone else's rides, whereas the Karoo one was about 3% under. So there you have it. You'll see in a second <coughs> that it was at 82% after an hour and a half of riding, but a lot of messing around and a quick ad hoc street meeting and uh, coffee oat cakes, etc. So it seems to be at least as good, if not uh, better than the old Karoo, but bear in mind, it's only been through one charge cycle so far. <laughs> 